well during the process of uh, interviewing you 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 uh, you asked him uh, uh, what happened to him what what was done to him then uh, what you observe uh, during during the, the the inflection of the injuries uh, how do you feel what's your feeling what happened to you then uh, after, after all these things the, uh, after a few hours after the, or the day the, the, you, you, what what is what did you observe uh, to your body uh, that was uh, that was hit uh, by uh, all this kind of uh, of, uh, of instruments then I can also ask um, during the time when you you were being uh, uh, physically injured what's playing on your mind what's going on in your mind what happened to you the, the, uh, In that evening, did you sleep well? Uh, did you have some kind of dreams uh, going back to what you had experienced? So this kind of things, no? And uh, and uh, and uh, <coughs> especially if uh, the victims uh, are being documented one year, two years, three years, five years after, because uh, lots of people uh, think that uh, once uh, their injuries are healed, there is no more signs of torture. But we've been telling them all along that signs of torture is not only physical. It's also psychological, and uh, uh, the things that you witness to your body when you, you were inflicted with injuries. Those stories that you're telling me, if I believe that those, that the stories are really uh, the usual process of a healing process of the of injuries, then I, I can I, I can vouch you. I can stand for it. That you re- that you really got all those kind of injuries.